Welcome back to Dorking Tech Tips. Today we will be going over how to use the Relay Control and Status feature in the DKS Cloud. The Relay Control and Status feature allows you to view the status of each relay and then change the state of that relay through the software. This feature is only available if using our DKS Cellular or our Client Network Adapter 183186. With a control board of Y or higher, a tracker board with a revision of L or higher, and if using wireless 2361 baseboards, rev E or higher. With that all out of the way, let's navigate to the relay control and status window. First click the plus sign next to your account folder on the left. Then click the plus sign next to system information. Now you should see relay control. Go ahead and click on the words to pull up the pop-up. With the relay control and status window now open, you should see a table that looks similar to mine with blue check marks. If you get an error like I have here, make sure you are able to send data to the unit and that your board meets the before mentioned requirements also noted here for this feature to work. Let's take a closer look at the relay control and status table. The first column is the relay number. This is the relay on the board or the address on the tracker board. The second column is the relay name and will show you what you have labeled the relay as. If your relays are not named, please see our video on how do I name my doors and gates in the DKS video library. The next column is the active slash hold. This column indicates that the relay on your main board or one of the tracker boards is not in its normal state. So right now my front gate, office door, and pool door are open. The inactive slash release column is where you should see most of your relays, as this indicates that the door or gates are in their normal state, closed or locked. The last column, status, just deals with relays 1 and 2, and whether or not it is being used for tracker boards. As you can see, my relay 2 is being used for tracker boards 3 through 10. There are other things on this pop-up as well. Since this is not a live connection, it will tell you the time and date of when the relays were last checked. To get your current settings, click the check button to update your relays. To update your status automatically every minute, check the check status automatically box and then click apply. The relay control and status can also be used to toggle the relays to open or close your gates and doors override hold schedules to close a gate or door early or open a door or gate before a hold schedule begins. To toggle a relay simply select the opposite action by checking the box and then click apply to push the change. Toggling relays if there is a hold schedule. If the relay is activated before the hold schedule begins it will end with the schedule. If the relay is released before the hold schedule ends, it will activate automatically at its next scheduled time. We recommend playing with the relay control and status feature to get used to how it affects your gates and doors. And remember, setting everything to inactive will get you ready for the next day. And we'll see you next time for more Door King Tech Tips.